Hello everybody, um, I have the pleasure to present to you our work entitled uh, Multi-Criteria Analysis of Different Water Desalination Technologies and Positioning of the Seawater Greenhouse Technology. So the purpose of this paper is to carry out uh, a multi-criteria analysis aimed at uh, classifying the different methods of water desalination by a sample of well-chosen well -chosen people using the matrix uh, method and via the Prometi software. The various desalination uh, processes can be classified into two main families, uh, which are processes based on the evaporation and condensation, such as the seawater greenhouse, and the processes based on the separation or filtration, uh, such as the membrane desalination processes. So, uh, we have evaluated five desalination processes, namely reverse osmosis, uh, multi-stages uh, flash distillation, multi-effect distillation, vapor compression distillation, and seawater greenhouse. So, um, the stakeholders belong the various categories and have uh, different backgrounds, making them able to have a vision on the most suitable uh, scenario uh, for Morocco in terms of desalination. So four, four categories of five people each were involved in this study, namely individual customers and agricultural actors, scientists, researchers, uh, specialists in electricity, water, renewable energy and environment, and economic and industrial, industrial actors. According to the following 11 economic, uh, 11 economic uh, scientific technical, uh, environmental, and social criteria. So, uh, after processing the data collected through the questionnaires, we developed average grade table with average weights. These tables, called multi-criteria uh, matrices, will inform as about the overall op opinion of each person belong uh, each category and uh, therefore will give us an idea about the vision of the whole category. So uh, the multi criteria matrix relating of, uh, or to the category uh, individual customers and agricultural actors is presented in this table, table one. So this category has given the priority in its choice to the cost of produced uh, meter cube, then uh, to the respect of the environment, and thirdly to the technology safety and risk of disasters. And referring to the weighted final scores, this category has drawn the following ranking scenario of uh, water desalination processes. Uh, the multi criteria matrix relating to the category scientists researchers is presented in this table. So, this category has uh, given the priority in its choice to the cost of produced meter cube, then of uh, or to the respect of the environment, and thirdly to the uh, reliability and maintenance frequency. And referring to the weighted final scores, this category has drawn the following ranking scenario of water desalination processes. The multi criteria matrix relating to the category to the category specialists in electricity, water, renewable energy and environment is presented in this table. Uh, this category has given the priority in its choice to the cost of produced metro cube, then equally to the respect of the environment and uh, to the creation of uh, direct and or indirect jobs. So referring to the weighted final scores, this category has drawn the following ranking scenario of water desalination processes. 
um, uh, this is the matrix related to uh, relation to the economic and industrial actors category. So this category has given the priority in its choice to the respects of the environment, then to the technology, safety and disaster risk, and thirdly to the creation of direct and or indirect jobs. Referring to the weighted final score, uh, of course, this category has drawn the following ranking scenario of water desalination processes. The multi-criteria matrix relating to the entire sample and therefore grouping the opinions and ratings of all categories is represented on this table. The general scenario of the four categories has shown that the overall view of the whole sample gives priority firstly to the cost of produced metric cube criterion, then to the respect uh, of the environment and thirdly to the creation of direct and or indirect jobs on a par with uh, the technology, safety and disaster risk. So referring to the final uh, average uh, weighted scores, the different stakeholders ranked, taking into consideration economic, scientific, technical, environmental, uh, and social criteria, the five water desalination technologies as follows. Therefore, uh, multi-criteria analysis can be made by some computer software in the sense we have implemented the data uh, collected on a Prometheus uh, scenario. Indeed, the results obtained uh, allowed us to, to validate the ranking previously elaborated by the matrix method. As a conclusion, the criteria of the cost of produced metric cube, uh, then the respect of the environment, and thirdly, the creation of uh, direct and or indirect jobs, were the criteria of the highest priority for, the, for all the categories, and thus influenced the final ranking scenario. Uh, meanwhile, and contrary to what was expected, some categories had an unexpected vision, the category of individual customers and agricultural actors uh, ranked as most of the other categories. The seawater greenhouse technology in the penultimate place or the fourth place. And this because the criteria representing the strengths of this uh, desalination process and supposing to interest these people had uh, good grades but low uh, priority for this sample. So uh, we have uh, the criterion of brine management and the criterion of land use and the category of economic and industrial uh, actors and especially the industrial actors are much more concerned by env environmental and social issues and have uh, designated, designated the criterion of the metro cube cost as the fourth priority. Um, thank you uh, very much for your attention. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mumni Mohammed, PhD student at Sultan Mlesnimal University. First, it's an honor for me to be invited to participate in the seventh international conference on optimization and application in order to present our paper. The article is about modeling of reverse osmosis process at Barakish Water Desalination Station. So the plan of our presentation is, we start firstly by introduction, theoretical study and the modeling system, case study, then we present the model on MATLAB simulating, model validation, we discuss the results, and finally, conclusion. Fasting the water crisis to come up and the inequitable distribution of water resources between countries or regions, desalination of seawater and demineralization of brackish water by reverse osmosis have become the key solution to ensure the water supply of the population and their water streets. Mass of the world's water resource 
exists as a salt water in the ocean and seas, in addition to the brackish water. The difference between seawater and brackish water is in the salinity value. For seawater, the salinity can reach 40 grams per liter, and for brackish water, the salinity varies between 1 gram and 10 gram per liter. Reverse osmosis is a process to convert high salt concentration of seawater or brackish water into very low concentration recommended for drinking water using semi permeable membranes. Reverse osmosis desalination is a highly complex process that requires the knowledge of several parameters such as the pressure, the flow rate, temperature, and the salt concentration. The variation in water quality and temperature, especially for brackish surface water, leads to the variation of several operating parameters like feed pressure and flow, permeate flow, concentrate flow and pressure, as well as the concentration in each step. So it's essential to model the reverse osmosis process. Several studies can be found in the literature, where many approaches of desalination unit modeling are given. In these studies, the effect of variation in the parameters of reverse osmosis process have, have been discussed. For example, the research established by Aron Joseph in 2018 analyze the impact of temperature on operating parameters as well as energy consumption using lab view simulation and the type of water taken into consideration was seawater. Jensen Kim has carried out in 2016 the evaluation of reverse osmosis performance over a large range of operating conditions. So our article is interested in modeling of the reverse osmosis process Validate the model de developed in MATLAB simulating by the comparison with the operating parameters of Maroc Central demineralization station and the results found by other research. And we have analyzed the reverse osmosis uh, process performance when changing field water characteristics such as temperature and salinity. Before moving on to the equation which model in the error system, we explain some terms that describe this process. Reverse osmosis process first requires a very low pretreatment of brackish water to avoid the, the deposition of suspended solids on the membranes that would lead quickly to, de to a decrease in product flow rate. Then the high pressure pump is used to inject the concentrated water into the air on module in which the membranes are located with the determinant flow QA and the proportional pressure PA to the water concentration and temperature. The filtered water called permeate pass through the outlet of the membrane with the flow rate QP and the pressure PP which is in general about 1 bar. The concentrate part passes to the rejection circuit with a pressure PC closer to the feed pressure. To determine the value of the feed pressure to be applied to the membranes, it is essential to define the osmotic pressure which is proportional to the concentration of water and its temperature. The equation is defined by the Van Hoff law, where E, the number of ions dissociated in the case of an electrolyte, C is the concentration of salt, and R, ideal gas constant, and T, the absolute temperature of the solution in Kelvin. Then, the pressure of the HP pump that must be applied is calculated according to the, to the difference of the osmotic pressure on both sides of the membrane. The permeate flow rate, the exchange surface of the membrane, and the permeability constant of the membrane, which is variable with the water temperature. The variation of the performance of the reverse osmosis process is based on the calculation of these indicators. Membrane conversion rate, which is the fraction of the permeate and the feed flow of the membrane. Salt rejection, which is a percentage which describes the amount of solids retained by the air membrane. And the energy consumed by the HP pumps, which is calculated according to the different pressure on either side of the membrane, with the conversion rate and the pump efficiency. In order to validate the model developed from this equation, our study was carried out on the Mark Central Demonization Station of Brackish Water, which located near Tadla City in Morocco. 
This session contains three production line. Each line contains 600 membrane. Sectional area of each membrane is 35 square meter, and the rays are the characteristic of the HPM pump. Each production line is composed of two stages. In this process, the concentrates from the first stage became the field water to the subsequent stage of RMO element to produce more permeate. The permeate water collected from the first stage is combined with the permeate water from the second. The model developed under MATLAB Simming reflects the design used in Maroc Central Station. In this interface on the right, we have set the margin of the working conditions of this station, which are the water temperature and its sanity, as well as the characteristic of installed equipment. The structure of the simulation was performed as shown in the figure in the, on the left. To validate this model, two approaches are used. The first is experimental, which consists of checking with the operating parameters of the brackish water demonization station Mark Central, and the second one, the model is compared with the result obtained by Ardan Richards. From the results shown on this table and which describes several cases, we can say that the, the, the developed model is validated. I have now to analyze the results found by the simulation of this model. So as described by its definition, osmotic pressure is directly relative to the salinity of the field water. The HP pumps are requested to prevent the pressure which must overcome this pressure as well as the pressure losses created by the ergodinamic circuits including that of the membrane, as shown in the first figure. This pressure decreases with the increase in temperature which is in good agreement with the several ratios. This is explained by the fact that the water passes more easily throughout the membrane due to reduction in the water viscosity and the ch change in the membrane structure, especially in its permeability to solvent as described by figure 7. Even as the increase in temperature decreases the supply pressure, which is again in terms of energy, this change affects also the quality of the water produced, since the concentration of the permeate as described in figure 6, increase with the increase of feed flow temperature. The feed pressure increase causes the increase of salt reject, which means that the more that high pressure on the membrane is applied, the more it produced water with good quality. The permeate flow increase with the increasing of the feed flow experimentally, some researchers have proved that certain maximum value of feed flow lead to the duration of the product quality. Finally, and as conclusion, the model of the mineralization process of brackish water by reverse osmosis was developed and validated by the experimental approach and the comparison with the results of other research. As well as, since the field water salinity in this station varies between 1 gram per liter and 3 gram per liter, the effect of the field water temperature variation is considerable more than its salinity on the field pressure. Then, the case studies results show that the increase in temperature causes both the decrease in pressure and affect the quality of produced water, which make it essential to carry out a study of intelligent control of the operating parameters to optimum values in order to optimize the energy while keeping the membrane life span. Hello. I'm Zgir Youssef, PhD student at International Water Research Institute in the University Mohammed VI Polytechnic. Before beginning my presentation, I would uh, like uh, to thank the organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to present my work in Chichilid. In Chichilid. Calibration and optimization of soil and vegetation parameters for car soil vegetation atmosphere transfer model. This work, which is done under the direction of my professor Abdelghani Shabouni and Mr. Jamal Al Zahar. In my presentation, I will use the following plan. Firstly, I will talk about uh, uh, S water. 
ECAR S batch model in introduction. Secondly, I will present uh, I will uh, present the description of uh, model. Thirdly, I will talk about calibration and optimiza optimization using for this model. And finally, we will we, I will show some results obtained by this optimization. As we can see in this picture, we have representation of energy exchange within the soil vegetation atmosphere interface model. Let's talk about ECAR s -Bot. It is a soil vegetation atmosphere transfer model developed at GRD SISBU Faculty of Simlalia Marrakesh which is used to model the heat, mass, and momentum exchange between the soil, the vegetation, and the atmosphere at the surface of the Earth. ECAR-S watch uses the common dual source formulation. Uh, we have another uh, model who is using just uh, one uh, mono source formulation. The state variable of the vegetation are, are Temperature and the moisture continent. The state variable of the soil surface uh, is temperature Ts and the moisture continent Ws. The study of interaction between soil, uh, atmosphere, and uh, vegetation involves a representation of the water behavior of soil and vegetation cover. Now let's uh, talk about the description of model, model description. This work is based on the soil vegetation transfer model called ecar -SVAL, developed by, by Pierre Jantin and the Professor Abdelghani Sherboni and Merlin, in order to simulate surface fluxes, soil moisture and top temperature ev evolution. The evolution of temperatures is described as follows, as you can see in the, in the equation number one. For, the, for a soil moisture, we can describe it by two forms, force resource or diffusive form. In our work, we will use the diffusive expression. As you can say, the diffusive soil moisture is given by equation number two, where F is the vertical flow rate of water, Z, Z is uh, the, the soil depth, and uh, the volumetric water continent is described by W, K is the hydraulic conductivity, and P is the capillary pressure M, KD is the drainage term, and finally D describes the texture, the soil texture, water continent, and the part the part temperature. Let's talk about evaporation modeling. Let's talk about evaporation modeling. The exchange of soil and vegetation with atmosphere can, o can also express it by the for formulation, form form formulation of two one-dimensional layers proposed by Schultz-Lowert, where soil and vegetation are wells do that don't depend on hedge flow flux. And as we can see, the net radiation is rising as a, in, a, in, in the following form, as you can say in equation number three, where N, R, N, R, N, S is the soil canopy, uh, soil radiation, uh, radiation, net radiation, and R, N, C is the canopy net radiation. The energy budgets for soil and canopy are given as follow, as we can say in the uh, in the equation number four. Now let's talking about calibration and optimization. But before talking about our optimization and calibration, I would like to mention that uh, sensitivity analysis based on the root mean square square error as an estimator, and we assign default values. 
or the other parameters in order in order to independently treat the sensitivity of the variables in our model as a function of different parameters. About the optimization, we consider single objective optimization for each function. Uh, the root uh, may, may case, uh, case of uh, root main square error. The goal is to follow, follow the evolution of this function in relation to the var variation of uh, parameters by treating independently the reference of each objective. In order to be able to optimize certain variables in our model, we start a mono-objective optimization for all the parameters. This means fixing their range of vari variation or and following the evolution of each objective function. The parameters chosen for calibration are the minimum stomatic, uh, stomatal uh, resistance linked to the degree of opening of stomatal. Uh, the second uh, parameter is the ras uh, ratio between mechanical and thermal redness, which is difficult to estimate precisely and has a great influence of the energy balance. Finally, we have two coefficients, ARS and PRS, which are used in the calculation of resistance to soil evaporation in the ecar SVAT model. And after we can say some results, but uh, I would like uh, to mention that our studies have been carried out out in the irrigated areas of the named Ertarwa site located east of Marrakesh. Ertarwa is 2,800 hectares. The main crops include irrigated winter wheat. As we can say in this. Uh, in this uh, table, we have a description of the parameters uh, to be optimized in the ecar SVAT model. And the, uh, the table represents the result of uh, the single objective optimization for the ecar SVAT model. And uh, the the, the figure, uh, we have three figures, uh, shows the correlation analysis of our model. The scatter plot of uh, uh, sensitive, uh, sensitive uh, heat and latent heat and the net radiation. And uh, as we can see in the picture, the scatter plot of correlation called a calibration of the model ECAR as what, and the, the blue lines is the, uh, is the, is the line. Uh, if X equal URL. And the figure show, uh, and the co uh, as we can see, the correlation analysis of uh, the validation of this scenario pro proves that evapotranspiration the risk maximum value by over, over estimating the observation. Soil and vegetation are enabled to retain water in the deep layer, which causes the model. To explore, to explore after each irrigation, and finally we can see the daily averages about of a simulated who, who is represented by the red line and measured who is represented by the black triangle of a net radiation uh, for site RT. As we can see, it's the same. Hello, this is the title of our paper. Proposal Architecture Based on Full Computing Allowing Real-Time Analysis in Smart Cities Our presentation follows the following outline Internet of Things IoT Frameworks Fields of Application of the IoT IoT Rules in Smart Cities Smart Cities Architecture Proposal Using for Computing Conclusion and Perspective Internet of Things. Internet of Things is a giant network where physical devices things are interconnected and can be controlled or mono monitored remotely. Three layers IoT architectures. There is no standard architecture for the Internet of Things yet, but 
many researchers generally present the, this architecture as three basic, basic layers, the perception, physical layers, uh, the network layer and the application layer as shown in this figure. IoT frameworks. IoT frameworks help developers implement and deploy IoT-based applications in the shortest possible time. It provides a set of rules, protocols, and guidance standard. For this survey, we selected nine frameworks to review. The first IoTVT, uh, open source project which is uh, intended to smart home field, uh, it facilitates device-to-device -device communication by using Coop. Azure IoT Suite, IoT cloud-based platform released by Microsoft, it allows users to connect Android of heterogeneous devices with the cloud. SmartThink, IoT platform released by Samsung designed for smart home applications. It allows you users to connect, control, and monitor their smart devices via a single mobile application. Eclipse Cura, open source IoT framework based on Java and dedicated for building IoT gateways that contain machine to machine applications. AWS IoT Amazon Web Service IoT is a platform which allows connected devices to communicate securely with each other and with the cloud. It offers several services like AWS IoT Analytics, which is capa capable of analyzing uh, petabytes of generated data. Brillo Web, the platform consists of two means pillars, Brio and Web. Brio is Android-based operating system for the development of embedded devices with low power co co uh, cons consumption. will work at, as a communication shell for interactions and message transmissions. ARM Embedded IoT. ARM Embedded IoT is open is an application uh, development platform for IoT-based on ARM microcontrollers. It meets all the requirements of its ecosystem to create so standalone uh, or networked applications. Kelvin is open source IoT platform published by Ericsson. It is designed to create and manage dis distributed applications that allow devices to communicate with each other. HomeKit is a platform dedicated only to IoT devices connected to the home. It facilitates the process of managing and controlling access and devices connected to others' home by allowing interaction with uh, intelligent applications. A comparison table of different IoT frameworks, we can classify the nine frameworks based on several criteria as shown in the following table. So we have in, uh, in two categories, open source frameworks, IoT VT, SmartThink, Eclipse Cura, uh, Calva and uh, paid solutions, AWS IoT, Azure IoT Suite, etc. The latter two frameworks offer wide range of services. All big data features are included, data storage, real-time data analysis, data cleaning, data visualizations using dashboard, with support for machine learning and storage of a large amount of data, data in NoSQL databases. In addition, all security measures are applied to different layers of the ar architecture. In addition, they all support M MQTT, which is uh, a lightweight protocol in terms of small code footprint and low bandwidth requirement. However, both frameworks require cost for each service used.
field of application of the IoT. The main advantages of the IoT technologies is their connectivity aspect, which has a huge potential. So different benefits are possible and would be pro progressively integrated in our lives in the coming years in different application fields namely healthcare, energy, military, building automation, transportation, industry, agriculture and smart cities. Its role IoT's role in smart cities. Smart cities is the most important application area of IoT because in the future, a large population will live in these cities. That's why we will need a smart city to meet the need of, the, of this huge population. In this regard, there are several recent articles that deal with this new research concept. Smart cities architecture proposal using for computing. In the field of smart cities, all sectors are connected and therefore there is uh, an explosion of data that must be stored and analyzed in real time to make decisions in a timely manner. To meet these requirements, we have proposed our architecture which is shown in the following figure. The objective of the proposed architecture is to provide real time analysis in smart cities based on for computing, but inst instead of transmitting the raw data from the sensor to the node, fog nodes, it's, it is necessary to reduce the communication load between the fog nodes and the sensor by putting servers allowing the filtering of the captured data, distributing them between the cloud and the fog the heavy part that has to be analyzed in the cloud and the light part that has been analyzed in real time in the fog uh, by hosting analysis algorithm directly locally at the network edge. This allows for real time processing of information because in smart cities IoT data is only useful if it can be directed to in the right way and in a time a timely manner conclusion and perspectives smart cities smart university and smart classroom will be our fields of study implementation of our architecture and to meet the various requirements of this area especially the smart the smart classroom thank you